Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, why men have a hard time receiving your love, receiving, receiving, receiving. All right, if you've ever experienced this, uh, please post a comment, let me know <laughs> really quickly. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified of new content. I shoot about three or four videos per week. If this resonates with you, hit the bell. All right, our topic. Um, I'm doing a topic on receiving because today is Thanksgiving. And for those here in the United States, uh, most of us aren't allowed to go out and spend time with our families because we've been restricted here. Um, most of us are dealing with the pandemic and this is a really challenging time. So I chose to talk about receiving because Thanksgiving is about the idea of giving, right? Is giving thanks, but it's also being able to receive thanks. And this is a challenge for many men, is to receive your gratitude, to receive your love. So I wanna lean into that. I wanna lean into that today. Um, really quickly, oh, by the way, before I get started, you might notice this is my uh, balcony shot for today. I wanna to give you a quick view, sense of the view I have here. <laughs> um, so that's the view from my place, if you've ever been curious. All right, I'm gonna put this back now. <laughs> It probably looks like a tacky YouTube video. Uh, really quickly. Oh, my t-shirt says, kindness is so gangster. And my cup today is love yourself, love yourself. So apropos for this conversation. Because one of the challenges men have is that capacity to love themselves. This is oftentimes the result of childhood wounds and traumas that have been unhealed or adult traumas that have been unhealed. The reason why I know this is because I did something fantastic called the Hoffman process, the Hoffman process that helped me understand my childhood wounds and traumas, which makes it very difficult for someone to be able to receive love. The more traumatic our childhood and our life experience is, the harder it is to receive love. And I know many of you condition, well, if I just keep giving him love, if I keep giving him love, if I keep giving him love, he will eventually be able to receive, and it doesn't work that way. It's, it, look at, I mean, it, it does not work that way for men who are capable of it, but so many, sig significant number of men fear love or incapable of receiving. This is why I'm a big proponent of doing inner work first to be prepared so that if you have gotten attached or if you've given your love to someone else that doesn't work out, you're in your sovereignty, you're in your self-worth, you're in your self-reliance. In fact, this is why I promote my book every video, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? See by Jonathan Asley, because when we lean into our sovereignty we're not attached to the outcome with another human being. And yet when we invest in another human being, we want to be with someone who's both a giver and a receiver, a giver and receiver. I know ladies, you've been so conditioned that men are leading the process and they must be the giver and you just sit in your feminine energy and receive, receive, receive. You, you know how I feel about that. Ah, I call that bullshit. Um, because a healthy relationship is a two-lane street. It's two people giving and receiving together. I share this story frequently um, on my podcast and in my videos, but it's so important to illustrate this point. I was on a first date with a woman years ago. We went to a dive bar, and uh, we, uh, I bought the first round of drinks, and I brought her the round of drinks, and we chatted a little bit, and I went to go get another round, and she walked with me. And I'm giving my credit card and she says, I have it. And I go, no, no, I've got it. She goes, I have it. I go, no, I've got it. She goes, I have it. Now, some of you might be going, well, she was in her masculine being in control. But what happened next floored me and it illustrates this point about receiving. She put her hand on my arm and said, Jonathan, I'm really grateful that you treated the last round. Will you allow me to show my appreciation and treat this round? Can you receive? And that was like, in that moment, I was kind of like in my, mas I was in my masculine control because we all associate masculine with control and feminine with receiving. I know I'm being rhetorical here. I just like to play with this whole thing. But she literally put her hand on my arm. Can you receive? Ladies, if a man is incapable of receiving, 
in the early stage of the dating, how is he ever going to proceed later on down the road? You might invest years hoping that something will change. This is why I'm a big proponent of this book called Making Love All the, or How to Make Love All the Time by Barbara DeAngelis. Look how thick that book is. This is a great book for understanding how to shift a relationship to one that's a, it's a two lane street. You're both givers and receivers in relationship. And if you need help with the languaging, if you have a hard time with your words, then you have to check out the book Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. Oh my God, this is a great book for understanding how to communicate your needs, wants, and desires with a guy. Look it, I could sell you some $5,000 program, you know, that's an online course to teach you all this, that you can get for literally 15 bucks, you can buy a dozen of the books I recommend. So what's that? $180 you can invest in the books I recommend. By the way, there's a link to the Jonathan Recommends books to help support you on this. My private coaching practice, though, is more specific for you, which is a little bit different. We, specific, we take all the information I've gathered and specifically work with you. By the way, if you're interested, check out the link to a free discovery call. It's in the comments and in the description as well to see if working with a coach is right for you. Because here's the bottom line. You can invest weeks, months, and years with a man who's incapable of receiving. This is why we have to shift this paradigm of men are the leaders of the relationship and he will claim you and you just have to sit back and receive. I haven't said the F word. Fuck. That's how I feel about that because I see it as a two-lane street. Do you see it as a two-lane street? Is that what you want? Do you want a relationship as a two-lane street? Because the guys who are incapable of receiving, they're not gonna make good partners and it's better to er learn this early on than later on down the road. Ah, I hope this resonates with you. I hope you're giving thanks to your own sovereignty. I hope you're giving thanks for Thanksgiving. I hope you're learning to receive and also learning to shift from an old egoic way of operating in relationships and a co-creative way. And that's my invitation for you today. All right, I'm gonna wrap up this uh, podcast as I always do. Remember, kindness is so gangster. First off, I'm gonna give myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm gonna ask you to turn to someone and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use a lot more love in our lives. Happy Thanksgiving, wishing you a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.